Okay, that's how much land is showing at 110 from a low tide at 11.33 and it's a 4.1 tide, same as we've got. I'm going to go down to the end of the slipway and see how much we've got. Now this isn't such a big deal because we do have all of that beach, but as you can see it's very, very shallow and we'd have to be careful getting out. They could possibly come in just here on this side of Bastard Rock. But let's come down and let's look at how this is looking just here as far as shallow goes. So the four foot one tide came to about there where the slipway is wet. Looks like it stopped just below those rocks. Um, come out here, right, that is so, so shallow. Look, can you see? How shallow that is to get out. That is going to be really tricky in getting people in and out. And as I said, this is 10 past 1 and low tide was at 11.33. Because the coefficient is so low, it's not changing very fast. Now, we do have water out there, but I can't be out there to see how the sandbar is doing. There will be a section out there that will be raised up that we would have to avoid but there is more water down that way so if we could if we can get launched and I just don't know with that I'm just I'm very apprehensive about how long it takes to get actually floating out in that mud um, we could have races out there's enough water out there but it's a question of getting out there from this which is so shallow and without people ending up falling stuck in the mud, etc. So I'll go and get a view from the umpire's position and, uh, and we can discuss this on WhatsApp.